Hey guys, Roger, back with another video. I am an enterprise solutions architect working at AWS. This is the part two of my SAM tutorial. In part one, we covered what is SAM and why should we use it. And then we showed an example of using SAM by creating a DynamoDB table. So in this part, we are going to learn how to locally test your Lambda using SAM and also how to deploy your Lambda, uh, both uh, without any dependencies and also uh, with external dependencies. All right, let's get into it. Hello guys and girls, uh, welcome to this uh, demo where we show how we are gonna deploy a Lambda uh, without any dependencies uh, using SAM. Okay, so this is our good old uh, Lambda that we're gonna use for this. Uh, it basically takes the name of a country and then um, gives the output that hello from this country. So if you pass the input as country colon USA, uh, it should give uh, hello from USA. To do this using SAM, I have created this folder called Lambda code under our SAM folder, and then uh, put the name of the, then put the Lambda code uh, in this folder, or the test1.json and requirements.txt for now. We're gonna come back to it when we uh, do the Lambda with dependencies. Okay, so let's take a look at the SAM. So if we open this uh, Lambda SAM, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, so as we uh, know, SAM function will be the name of the Lambda and then the type AWS colon colon serverless colon colon function says that this is uh, creating a function. And then handler should be name of the Lambda hello underscore country dot lambda underscore handler. So basically hello underscore country uh, dot lambda dot handler, runtime uh, Python 2.7. And this is the code URI. So you can use a directly S3 bucket here, but I kind of like keeping everything in my IDE for ease of uh, change. Uh, so here you can see that, hey, dot slash uh, lambda code slash hello underscore country dot py and I gave a, a description. So how do we deploy this? Uh, very, very similar to what we did before with our DynamoDB table. Okay, so we uh, package it up first. So template file, uh, lambda-sam.yml, uh, S3 bucket, and then output template file, package-lambda.yml. So if we run this, Okay, so now let's take a look at a package dash lambda dot YML. Okay, let's put side by side. Okay, see uh, in our DynamoDB example, both the original YAML file and the packaged YAML file were same. But see in this case, this is the left side is the original uh, YAML file. It takes the code from our local directory and then it puts it into the S3 bucket, right? Um, so if we go to our S3 bucket, what did we use? Demo dash test that 101, this one. So this, this is it. So if I show you a file, it's actually uh, some zip file. You are not gonna see the actual code in here. So this is, this is actually the thing. So you can see you cannot really understand anything here. Okay, so now uh, let's deploy this Lambda, right? Okay, so to deploy, we use sam deploy uh, template file package lambda.yml stack name, we give a CloudFormation stack name, and then we have to put this capabilities, capability underscore IAM, uh, because the stack should have access to create a IAM role for the Lambda. Uh, again, this is like a bare minimum Lambda function. Uh, if we go to the GitHub page, uh, so this is the uh, AWS colon colon serverless colon colon function page. So you can see, uh, you can put a lot of stuff. Uh, you can put the memory size, you can put the timeout, you can use the existing role, uh, you can create policies. So we're gonna see an example of this uh, later on as well. Uh, but for now, let's stick with the simple Lambda. Okay, so uh, let's deploy this. Okay, so let's go to CloudFormation and see if we can see this uh, Lambda SAM stack. Okay, so Lambda SAM stack, it's actually complete. Uh, so let's go to Lambda and see if we can find this Lambda. 
Okay, so we are in the Lambda console. Here we go, Lambda SAM stack, dash SAM function, and then a unique ID. So if we go inside, here we go. And if I scroll down, I just wanted to show you a couple of things. Uh, so you can see uh, it automatically puts a couple of tags, uh, the CloudFormation stack name uh, created by Sam, uh, stack ID and the logical ID. Uh, and then this role, you can see that this created this Lambda Sam stack Sam function role. Uh, since we did not specify any memory or timeout, uh, it automatically selected um, 128 megabyte and timeout uh, three seconds, which are the default ones and everything else uh, left as is. Uh, so like I said, guys, we are gonna um, go do more advanced stuff later on. Uh, but for now, let's let's stick with this one. Okay, so, so far we have created a DynamoDB table and a Lambda. Now let's uh, take it up a notch. And this time we are going to create a Lambda with external dependencies and also um, test it locally. Uh, so in this video, we are going to see how we can locally test a Lambda function. And this Lambda function will have external dependencies. Okay, so uh, we are using uh, the same Lambda. However, this time we put a library, import uh, requests. So this is an external library that we need to uh, install. So in that Lambda code folder, we put a file called uh, requirements.txt where we put the external libraries that we have to install. So in this case, uh, it's just requests. And to test it, we also created a JSON file called test1.json, where we are passing the input event or the input JSON. So to install external dependencies, uh, we cannot just do SAM package like we were doing before. Uh, we have to do a SAM build and then pass the lambda dash dependency dash sam dot yaml. Then we pass these manifest parameters and says, hey, uh, go to this lambda code slash requirements dot text and then uh, install whatever is in that requirement dot text and then create the artifacts. Uh, so let's take a look at the template. So this is our template uh, lambda dependency sam. So there is one thing which is different than our previous template. So let's open our previous template side by side. Okay, so see on the previous template, which had no dependency, where we did not have to run SAM build, we passed the name of the function. Uh, but here, we don't have to. So uh, it automatically go and picks up the name of the function. So if you are using multiple function, uh, you should create multiple folders and pass the name of the folder. Uh, if you try to give the name of the function here, uh, this will error out. Okay, so uh, back to our sam build command. Uh, so let's run this. Also note that at this point, the only folder which is under sam is this lambda code. Let's run sam build. Okay, so now as soon as we run this, it gives us, hey, build artifacts dot aws dash sam slash build and then the build template is build slash template dot uh, yaml. So see it created this dot aws dash sam folder. So if we go this, uh, this is the sam function. So you can see it downloaded uh, the requests external library and uh, it created this template dot yaml. And the code URI is the sam function folder. So now when we run the sam package command, it's gonna take all these uh, libraries and stuff from the sam function folder, which includes the external dependency, zip it up and put it on the S3 bucket. So now let's test it out. So uh, how do we test it out? So sam, one thing I like about sam is it always tries to give the next command. So it says, hey, invoke function is sam local invoke and package is sam package. Uh, so let's do um, uh, invoke. So you use the sam local invoke and then you pass this uh, input to the lambda as dash dash dot slash lambda code slash test one dot uh, json. Okay, so uh, you could pass either from this uh, test one dot json or this, doesn't matter because you can put the path. 
So let's try to invoke this. So one thing to note is so that this spins up a, a Docker container image uh, which runs Python 2.7 and then it calls the function. So important thing to note, we have not deployed our function, uh, right? And we are testing this locally. So this is how uh, you test your lambdas locally using SAM. So if you have been using uh, Visual Studio Code, you can test the similar way, which we are going to show uh, in the future video. So uh, let's see, let's change this uh, test.json. Okay, let's open this. How about instead of USA, we say uh, India, okay? Control S, so this time it should say hello from India. Here we go, hello from India. Okay, so now that we tested this, uh, let's try to uh, deploy this, right? And remember, this will deploy using uh, template.yaml. So at this point, we installed the external dependencies for a Lambda using SAM, and then um, we tested the function locally as well. So now let's package it and deploy it. So uh, this is very similar to what we did before, SAM package, and then the template file. So the template file it created under .aws-sam, and then build. So one thing to note is, uh, it actually created the name as template dash template.yaml. Um, so uh, make sure you, you give the name that it's, yeah, that's, that's present. And then we are using our S3 bucket and then the output template file package dash lambda dash dependency dot YML. So let's run this. Okay, so we have packaged, so let's open that. So code URI is pointing to the S3. So let's do a uh, SAM deploy. Uh, okay, capabilities. Capability I am. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so it says it's successfully created. Uh, let's check CloudFormation, okay, create complete. Uh, let's go to Lambda function, here we go. Uh, Lambda depend, so let's see. So here you go, import request and you see all the uh, requests installed and deployed. So what did we do so far? So just a status check, so we learned what is SAM, why we need it. Uh, we learned a couple of SAM template concepts. We did the SAM local testing, and then uh, we did deploying using SAM, Lambda without dependencies and Lambda with dependencies, and we did the DynamoDB. So uh, on the next videos, what we're gonna do is learn about events. Uh, what do I mean by events? Um, when you uh, trigger your Lambda from S3 or an API, um, and we're also gonna learn about uh, local debugging. All right, guys, uh, this is the video. Uh, I'm gonna keep making uh, more tutorials on Sam. If you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.